My favorite McLaren road car will be the 765LT. My 765LT. Tough question because I would say if I could, I have one of each, but my 620R, it's definitely my favorite. My favorite McLaren road car would have to be my Speedtail. It, uh, it's quite unique looking. It's extremely fast. Having a 720 in your garage, I, what I like to say is like having a missile in there. That is a really hard question. And I'd like to give three answers. One is a car that my dad built, which is the M6 GT. My favorite McLaren road car, I would have to say it'd probably be the GT. I think the favorite is the 750S. This is my favorite McLaren. McLaren Artura, in every capacity, uh, it, it blew my mind. The F1 GTR was probably the most outrageous car and the most memorable car I ever drove in my career. Just when I drive from zero to the speed limit, you know, it's, uh, it scares me. Even when I go from, from one car to this car, it still feels I would say almost just as quick in some ways, just because it's more enclosed and it gives you that different feeling. I wanted something that would at least simulate a little bit of a race car on the streets. The straight line acceleration of this thing, taking off from zero to 60. It was something that, something that actually gave me that little gap in my stomach. So. Uh, what surprises me most about the Speedtail is the ease of, of driving. It's just comfortable at 20 miles an hour. Still mind-blowing when, when you put the pedal down and the thing just goes and it, and it pulls really, really strong. What does it feel like? Slightly terrifying at times, I'd say. M8B Can-Am car from 1969 winning 11 of the 11 races. What an amazing achievement and, and probably one of the few in any sporting genre where they've had a complete clean sweep. My third favourite would be any of the automotive cars because they are just such fun to drive, so pretty to look at and so engaging in terms of the design and the engineering and the innovation in them. It's such a good balance between when you take it on track, it's, you know, it's, it's a blast to have a good time, but also just from an everyday road car, I think it's the best kind of balance between the two. That's an artist and, uh, you know, I appreciate the, the aesthetics of this car. At the Sun Valley Tour de Force event earlier this year, I took the car up to 204 miles an hour and the stability and the comfort, it felt like you were doing 80 miles an hour. The F1 GTO was outrageous because we never anticipated ever getting near to getting close to winning Le Mans. We didn't even think we'd finish Le Mans. What makes it so special to me, A McLaren to me as a British team, to drive with your son and finish on the winner's rostrum on Father's Day is pretty spectacular. Certainly the most wonderful memory I have of racing as I think any father would have.